feel like when I walk away, I'm leaving money. I'm like, I'll just leave this money right here on this table for the next person. That's how it feels. That's why I'm like, hmm. All right, well today we are here at Black Swan Antiquities in Palmyra. It's been a while since I was here last. Um, I don't actually remember. I mean, it's been, it's been a few, I think it was like right before Christmas. And um, today is the first day of February, so it's been a while. I'm excited. I like when it's been a while because it's like all fresh and new. So uh, we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for profit. Here we go. Okay, Black Swan Antiquities, here we are. This cat is absolutely amazing, $149. My gosh, look at him, I'm so in love. What Norcrest? <laughs> is it crazy that I really want him for myself? I don't know why, I just absolutely love him. 149. Like, tried to rationalize this. Like, you don't need it. <laughs> he is so great. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to think about this. I have to think about this because there's really no reason for it. There's no reason at all. I'm gonna instead look at this theorem over here of this rabbit jumping over a rainbow because <laughs> that's kind of cool. I guess I took the hook off with it. Um, this is twelve dollars. I'll take that. I'll take that. I gotta put the hook back up on the wall, though. My goodness. I was kind of eyeing up this bunny down here as well. Shockwave. <laughs> Speckled bunny rabbit. That's too funny. And this is incredible. Is that a toy? Metal toy stove with accessories. Wow. $125. And all the stuff. That's a whole lot of stuff plush. Pig, chicken, and corn on the cob. Hmm. Oh, it's gut shawl. Okay. That makes sense. It's a gut shawl carving. 145. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's like a large one. That's a big one. I'm surprised it's only 145. Oh, it's um. Hmm. Interesting. It's as is, maybe? Confused. Oh my gosh, he's over there just staring at me. Look at him. <laughs> he's like, take me home with you. Still thinking about it, cat. Look at this cute fellow right here. Isn't he adorable? Five dollars. Oh, there is a marking on there. Heavener. Heavener. Huh. I love him. Look at his wrinkly face. It's adorable. I'll take that for five bucks. And then I was noticing not the poodle behind the poodle. This guy. Aw, <laughs> he's very sweet. I'm actually surprised there's no markings on that. Come here, it says $10 over. What does it say? This is dog, $10. I like the expression on his face. I think when I buy dog figurines, it has a lot to do with their expressions. Look at his expression. This is very sweet. I don't know. <laughs> is that a way to describe that expression? Is sweet? This booth always has so many knickknacks and so much to see. It's kind of hard for me to focus on anything. I know I miss stuff when I come in here because I'm just like, my eyes are all over the place. <laughs> it's really hard for me to focus. I do have a lot of Christmas in here. Lots and lots of Christmas. Not that I need any Christmas. I do, I do at least look because I got that FOMO. The fear of missing out. It's funny to me looking at some of the prices they have on these figurines because I'm thinking like my recent Goodwill trips, you know, like <laughs> $2 on this goose. You know, at Goodwill, recently this would be like $4.95. Like it's just funny 
to see that you know you can actually find stuff cheaper at the antique malls these days than you can at some of the goodwills. I'm 49. Yeah, he's just too rare cool. size to find. Yeah, I love his whiskers. Oh, he's so great. Okay, you yeah. pay cash, check, or debit. Yeah, you get 10 percent off. Okay, perfect. I will do that. All right. Check out these cute little ducks. Oh, as is. This one is missing his nose or his beak, I guess. <laughs> his nose is beak. There's a pendlefin rabbit. Five dollars. Muncher. These are almost always chips. Regardless of whether I find them in the antique mall, the Goodwill, paint chip, ceramic chip, almost always chips. I don't know why. I guess they're just brittle. Brittle material. Check out this clown. That is pretty neat. Not that one, this one. <laughs> With the Mille Fiore. 59 on that. I don't know, is it a bell? Yeah, it's some sort of bell. I don't know. The clown, the, the clowns just, I don't know. Never really got into the clowns. And I'm still just standing here. I'm not really into them. I just, I think it's the Mille Fiore that I'm attracted to, which is all of that uh, fancy, busy, cane work there and then down here that's nice too 38 on the paperweight this angel <laughs> can't tell if, can't tell if that angel is winking or if it's drunk and right, i'm gonna cheat a little bit and i'm gonna cut around the corner here <laughs> i usually don't go this way I'm going a little zigzag today but i'm gonna check out JT's booth because the last time I was here I had crazy good luck over here in the corner um, and this is JT's booth and you probably recognize that name from Lemoyne he's has he has a booth over at Lemoyne he also has a booth at Burgerville there are some cute <laughs> some cute little skunks in there huh one says stinky one says pew but I don't think that they are salt and pepper shakers Unless I'm missing the holes, but I don't think that I am. Interesting. I thought they were a pair of salt and pepper shakers. Um, now I do want to check... Oh, wait a second. $25. It says patent date on lid, which means that this is Utterberry. Oh, that, that door always shuts on its own. Oh, it's got to crack though. No! <laughs> I was really excited. The last one of these I had when I first discovered Atterbury, it was at um, Thunderbird Salvage in Philadelphia. It was the first time I ever heard of Atterbury. I came across one of these, it was all dusty, it was gross, it was on the shelf with all this cheap milk glass. And I found one of these and I thought, oh, that looks really cool and neat. And I turned it over and if you look here on the bottom, it says patent date, 1889. And that means that it's made by Atterbury Glass. Now Westmoreland eventually did get the mold for this. So later ones are made by Westmoreland and they're not worth as much. But, um, Atterbury ones are worth more. A lot of the times they actually have eyeballs. This one doesn't have eyeballs and it has a crack that I don't think I can forgive. Because it goes all the way down. But that was an exciting moment. <laughs> It was an exciting moment we shared. This is an Atterbury chick on eggs. And it has the patent date on it, but I'm gonna have to put it back. Can't forgive that crack. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the, why are you so giddy? I don't know. I just noticed this weirdo here on the top shelf and I'm like, That's a weirdo I could get with. I like that weirdo. Ten bucks, right? The bottom is signed. So, let's see if I can juggle this here. Shep Shapiro. Signed there on the bottom. Okay, so I decided, eh, you know what, let's look this up. This could be something interesting. Applehead carving. Shep Shapiro. Museum quality. It's not going to focus for you because we're building up the anticipation. 
$125. What? <laughs> Granted, the price goes down, but so did the dates, which means the more recent ones sold for more money. But it gets better than that. You know why? It gets better than that because look. There's two of them. I'm about to look if there's a third. I'm gonna keep looking. This one's 10 bucks too. There you go. Jackpot. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, well it is very windy where I'm at, so please forgive the wind. Um, but I'm currently editing the video for today and I had to pause it real quick to talk about these apple heads because I got so excited about these. I jumped right into Worth Point and I'm looking up these comps and Worth Point has them for $125, but I decided to look on eBay and see what they're selling for. And there are some listed on eBay, anywhere from $15 to $125. So are they worth $125? I don't know. In the moment, I was very excited, but I don't know if I can tell you that they are worth $125. I guess, I guess we'll see. I'm probably gonna list them as buy it now. So we will wait and see. Am I gonna list them for $125? I probably won't reach that high, but um, I paid 10 bucks a piece. So I feel like I can still make money on them even if I decided to list them at say $25. So anyway, I'm just here on vacation, enjoying the view. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone, I didn't tell anyone I was going on vacation, but I'll give you guys a preview. This has been my view for the week. And by the time you're seeing this video, I am already on my way home. But it has been a very, very relaxing week with the family. <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't know why it is that I'm obsessed with these things. But every time I see them, I have to buy them. And I, I can't explain it. But they're these German trinket boxes with, um, <laughs> with pocket watches on them. 34. Oh, this one's neat. This one actually has like little button things in it. Covered jar with two shakers. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> There's shakers inside. Um, oh, it's broken now. Look. I think there's supposed to be two more things on there. Oh, man. I can't buy it if it's broken. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't make any sense at $34. I can't seem to. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's so neat. I've never seen one like that before. Usually I find them and they're just tiny trinket boxes and they have the pocket watch on them. What I was actually turning the camera on to film was this. Made in Czechoslovakia. Oh wow. 20 bucks. I like that. It's really cute. I think we'll grab that. Hmm. Okay. Of my little apple head weirdos. Well, we really are mixing it all up today because now I've wandered down the ramp. <laughs> Skipping all over the place. Um, no particular order today, but this is another booth I really enjoy. Lots of figurines, lots of glass. Um, <laughs> of course, the first thing I notice is this, this deer right here. Check this out. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole assemblage. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> Santa's like dancing in the fireplace. That is so funny. How much? I must know. $23. <laughs> I might just buy it for the $23 because it's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Okay, I'll buy it just because it's worth the laugh for $23. And I could put it away until next Christmas, and then I could pull it out of my Christmas stash, and then I could laugh about it all over again. And it's worth the $23 to me to laugh about it next Christmas. I feel like I looked at this the last time I was here. I keep on, like, gravitating back towards this every time I'm in this booth. I'm like, I, you know what, I'm just going to do it because I did it again today. I didn't film it, but I was like, I love that figurine. 
And I just think to buy it. Like every time I come in here, I'm like, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Also, I like this. It's global. Of course it's global. Of course it is. But I think I'm going to buy this just because every time I see it, I love it. Whether I keep it, whether I resell it, I don't know. But it's just, there's something about it that I'm attracted to. So I'm going to buy it. This booth here usually has gorgeous things, but it's usually beyond my price point for resale. I figure it never hurts to look. You never know when you might find a, a treasure. There's some McCoy. Some nice glass. Oh, it's Higgins. There in the back. That's really pretty. 35 on that. Hand blown. Glass. Hmm. What I like about that is the contrast of this like peachy color with the pink applied um, applied handle there. I don't know, it's 35 though. That's why I'm, that's where I'm hesitant. I don't know. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. Murano hand blown wine bottle. Wow. That's gorgeous. Cloudy color. Original iridescent cloudy color. There's a sticker on that. I wonder if it's supposed to have a stopper. I don't know. My word, what do we have down here? <laughs> Only $69. I feel like some of these can go for like stupid money, right? Is that one over there? Oh, it is the peacock. It is the peacock. I wonder how much that one is. Do I have to open it to find out? <laughs> this one here is 69. Ooh, 149 on that one. Okay, let's see if we can see its tag on this one. Oh, there's tag. 235. Okay. I don't think it's worth taking out at that price. Genteel glass, 25. The flowers are just super whimsical. Growing out of the Mille Fiore. I think this one I might pick up. I don't know, the other ones aren't really exciting. Except for maybe, what do we have back here? That one had a smooth bottom. <laughs> got scratchy scratches on it. Mm, I don't know, that one's 28. Let's take a look at this one too. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like this is the one. If I had to choose one, this would be it. And this up here, this would also be it. <laughs> This is 22. Let's get a closer look at it down here. The shape of it reminds me of a glass apothecary jar, but it is ceramic with a kind of a Moriage bird, lipper and man. $22. Oh, look! <laughs> look it! It's the second time I've seen them. Shalinor Taylor, yes. So I misidentified these in my eBay listing and the buyer actually knew what they were. Um, they were kind enough to mess message me and let me know um, that this they were actually, they weren't Duncan Miller. They were Shalinor Taylor and Company. That is the correct identification. So that's really, that's really cool. I'd never seen them before, and now I've seen them twice. That happens a lot where I've never seen something and then just starts popping up all over the place. And yes, I am taking this with me. This fella is $35. I had one of these that was a cookie jar in my booth, and I sold it. And so he definitely caught my eye as I was walking by this booth. I was like, hey, I recognize that. Ooh, that one's signed. MP, $24.95. MP, do I know that one? Don't know if I do. What is this one? Murano Butterfly Paperweight. Ooh. Is that one signed? No, there's no signal. Oh, wait. 
No, there's no signature. He's a very clear bottom. And the butterfly would take some technique to accomplish. How much is it? 1895. <laughs> I mean, it's worth at least double that, and that's why I'm kind of like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I feel like when I walk away, I'm leaving money. I'm like, I'll just leave this money right here on this table for the next person. That's how it feels. That's why I'm like, mm. <laughs> I think I'll take these guys. I guess today's the day of paperweights. I'm not quite sure how I walked right by those, but somehow I managed. And they're amazing. And they have an actual signature on them. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. I think I need to get those out there for $90. Those are stunning. Absolutely stunning. The clarity of them. Oh, the alabaster glass with the gold. Oh gosh, okay. What do we have here? Another paperweight. <laughs> 45 on the paperweight. I might see if there's a signature on it. Alright, I'm gonna take the paperweight too. It's signed by Ruth something or other for 45. Yes, I'm gonna look at those too. I'm just gonna set this up here. That. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're beautiful. I love that one's blue and one's yellow. Two different colors. Oh, they're broken right there though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Not to break. Okay. My total spend there was $381 and that does not include the birds on the branch and I'm going to tell you why. Um, they do not think that the vendor knew it was damaged when they put it in the case. So they are trying to call him. In the meantime, I'm going three minutes down the road um, to, the, to another antique mall. Um, and they're going to continue to try to call the vendor um, and see if they can give me a discount on it. I was willing to pay $90, but it hurt. So they're like, well, we could probably get you a better price on that. So that's what they're going to try to do. Um, and that would be awesome. That'd be, I feel a lot better about that. I mean, it was it was almost a clean break, so it wasn't terrible that it was. That, and that's where I was like on the fence. I'm like, well, it's not terrible because it's almost a clean break and you can't really tell. I mean, the vendor didn't notice. I barely noticed until I touched it and I was like, oh. Um, so that's why I was like, okay. The birds were pristine, like everything else was good, but it was just that one spot. So anyway, um, 381 without the birds, but we'll see. I'll have to update you guys on the saga. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I down down the road to the next antique mall, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see.